been looking for an adventure for a while. Um, it's been a while since I've done one, a proper adventure. Met Matt in Hong Kong and he sowed the seed and looked at it a little bit, but then suggested it to my dad and just said, hey, let's go get off, off the track a little bit and hang out and yeah, go explore. I mean, Asia, I live in Asia and you get to see in a lot of beautiful places, but it's, it feels like it's really quite trodden these days and uh, opportunity to come and do something unique, I think. I generally don't think about things too much before I do them, which is perhaps to my detriment, <laughs> bringing the wrong kit or leaving stuff behind, but um, I was super excited about just the unknown more than anything. A little bit nervous about just getting out of your comfort zone a bit, I guess. Um, I'm a bit of a pussy when it comes to sleeping rough and jungles full of insects and bugs and monsters. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, mixture really. I mean, as just a few days before, I was super excited. I was bouncing around a little bit. But yeah, it was excellent. Really loved it. Um, variety, just thrown in the deep end. We're here now, we're not here to mess around. Let's, uh, let's get into it. So I love that about it. Um, just not knowing where we were going. Every day was a challenge. Every day being beaten up, tired, but feeling like you've achieved something. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. I mean, I'm like, yeah, I'd like to think I'm fit, but it definitely pushed me. I mean, the first day, as I said, it was deep end, no sleep, hard work, um, mentally, a little bit. I'd say that was, it was more physically challenging than mentally challenging. Um, but then a few things I struggled with a little bit, but just uh, hit me on both of those. Yeah, it's good. I needed that. Um, I'm a control freak for sure. Um, and it's hard, I mean, to keep asking questions like, what, what time are we doing this? Where are we going here? And Matt did really well in, in not actually giving in any information. Um, honestly, just accept it. Once someone tells you, you're not going to find out, you're here and just see what happens, then actually more comfortable with it than I expected. It was, it was fine. I'm mean, work-wise, I had work to do, but ultimately didn't really care. And I've now got my phone. I know that there's a, a lot of messages and, and emails that are on there and I haven't had time or a chance to look at them yet, but Saturday afternoon and I'm up the mountain, there's more important things to look at here. Um, so yeah, I'm fine. Need more of that, I think. The chance to do things that Everyone kind of goes on adventures, everyone goes on trips and you can go and book, everyone can book a ticket to come to these places ultimately, but they can't get the same experience. You might join a trip, like an organized tour or someone might give you some tips on where to go, but you just don't get to go as deep as we've done here. So I think the world, there's nowhere really it's undiscovered, but just getting into it as possible. It's, uh, that's what I like the most. I, just, I couldn't have done this without knowing, Matt knowing what he's doing. Yeah. Got to hang out with my dad for seven days in the middle of nowhere. Um, seeing him be challenged, seeing me be challenged, just seeing how we completely handled that situation. That was pretty cool, no arguments. Um, just a good reminder of get my ass back on some sort of adventure circuit. I used to do more than I've done in the last few years and I need them. It, absolutely what I want to do and it's a good reminder for sure immediately yeah sign up um, I'd even go as far as to say just do it blindly I, I had a few beers with Matt beforehand and you know, didn't give anything away by any stretch but just I had a bit of a feel for what we're doing and I'd say just take my word and sign up for the next one and just turn up pack the kit and uh, and move on